Hello and welcome to the twelfth in a series of video tutorials looking at working with Zmodeler. So the number twelve is going to be split up into two to form a little mini series, if you like, of how we use, implement, set up, and create groups using dummy helpers, and also how we create collision boxes. This first part is about creating. <coughs> excuse me, collision boxes and dummy helpers and structures for map models. Okay, here what we have at the moment is what appears to look like a big blue box. And yes, you're quite right, it is. But this is what's commonly known as a dummy. And this is going to be our collision block uh, box for the model, which you can't currently see at the moment. And the easiest way to create a dummy is to click on the box to make a box. You draw the box like so, and then just right click on the box after turning the selection off, of course. Right click on the box, and under the convert to menu, you'll find dummy, and you just click that and then. You scale it to size, to the size of your model, and there you've created the dummy. That's exactly what I've done here. But that in itself does not constitute a collision box. What we have to do with it now, once we've got it to scale, is we have to right click on it and select properties. Rename it from box to what is the abbreviation for the uh, map models which is col the box itself is not solid so untick that and give it a frame colour of red ok once we've done that we apply that and there we see yes there is a model underneath all that and it's my church model that I created for the 60s mod which now has its own collision box so therefore you won't be able to drive into it or anything like so for example you just run a truck over it without, without a collision box so you just sink right through it now you can't even hit it <laughs> that's how we create collision boxes now we're going to look at how we create dummy helpers and how they're used and because we have a model here with, with its own collision box we need three dummy helpers to structure it so that it's ready for export into the game to create a dummy helper go back to the primitive menu and click dummy helper and click again to select and you can see in our object browser list we now have a dummy helper so I'm going to rename that to uh, coal and I'm going to drag the collision box into it and that's fine for that now I'm going to create another dummy helper and I'm going to call this T-Base which is the more or less recognised name for the structure for the main parts of your model and we drag the other parts of the model into T-Base like so and now to close all this group off, off we need one more dummy helper there it is and we call that one church and you put the collision and the T base into church that's it, now we have the right structure. Now there is something you'll have to do with the main uh, dummy helper, which generally contains an emu model like this one here, is church, and that is you have to set up some user defined uh, variables or conditions if you like. And we do that by right clicking on the dummy helper and select properties and then we click user defined options <coughs> right. 
something to bear in mind is all models, regardless of whether they're map models, vehicles or whatever, need an origin. Now the origin is basically the folder, the path to the folder where the model is stored into and where the textures are for the model. So to create the origin uh, path uh, variable, we click in that box there first and tap in origin with a capital O and click add then in the value you tap in the path to the model and its textures obviously remembering to use the SCS tree structure so it would be for this would be model church and remember to put a backslash at the end and that's it you've created your path for your model also for your map models you'll need to include a paint jobs using capitals that I have there and with a value of 1 that's essentially telling the model that there is textures for it and to, to apply the textures to the model once you've done that you can click apply and then OK now at this stage that model is now ready to export and will work fine in the game but also remember when you're adding map models you will also need to create an entry for that map model in the models.sii file which can be found in, in the def uh, world folder of your uh, SCS tree you will need to en en enter some basic information like for example where the PMG the, the uh, PMD and the PMC files are for your model, and that, that and the view for it, the look of it, basically. Once you've done that, you save that file. You, you package that with uh, with your uh, model in the right tree structure folders. Build it up into an SCS and drop it in your mod folder, and you've got your own custom built model into the game. And that's just about it for this first part. See you in the next.